Fam Review. Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we're going to be going over another familiar for our fam review series. Now this is actually going to be a Gobby fusion, surprisingly, and that is going to be Astro Gobby. Astro Gobby is phenomenal, but let's get started. I don't want to get too carried away. Let's go in order here. So Astro Gobby, 20% air resistance along with 40% block chance. Now 40% block chance is a tad bit low unless you have two mythic block pumps like I do. It's going to be a little difficult for you to capitalize on the third pump. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting a lot on a third pump for more block. So if you don't have two mythic block pumps, he is not going to be as strong, but will still be very, very solid. But let's go ahead and show you how his stats are real quick before I get on with the pumps and stuff. Um, we do see here that they do have a lot of power a decent amount of stam and for their speed or agility sorry it's a little fast but i kind of like it only because at the bottom here it does say heals by 10 percent max hp at the start of their turn and then there's like a little saying that there's on the bottom but whatever but pretty much that just means the more turns he has the more he gets to heal himself by a percentage value which is pretty nice very nice to have so the speed is actually pretty awesome in my opinion i don't mind it i've been using them in the current d4 and they are honestly staying alive pretty long they're helping me out a lot and i think they're going to be the reason i pass the d4 in the current tier which is t19 now let's go on to the pumps you need to have two block pumps two block pumps for sure two mythic block pumps if possible if you can't then you're gonna need a third one even if you have one mythic and the two are legendary and perfect you still will need a third block pump so make sure you have two mythic block pumps if you want to take maximum value from this you want to make sure that you have two mythic block pumps and then you can slap on a damage reduction pump if possible if not then you'll have the third block pump there but this will make it to where you will have pretty much as much reduction in damage as possible i'm going to be pairing that with a gain damage reduction the higher your health percentage is up to a maximum of 15 percent and now i'm choosing this one because it gives a pretty good percentage and usually a bait only takes a few hits so you want to make sure when you take that hit you're not going to be getting hit too low to where you'll get one shot this will probably more or less prevent that one shot from happening in most case scenarios now for the brain honestly you can use either an offensive or defensive defensive might help you last longer but in my opinion i like going for an attack team brain when i get hit i've been using him in pvp for my bait and i love him he is honestly super awesome He's fun in duels because you just never see him around. He's really cool to just see there in a team. And having him dish out that damage is really, really nice. Trust me. Attack Team Brain for me is the way to go. Y'all should try it. And for the bone, I like doing your opponent's first attack on you deals reduced damage. If you can get a mythic one, obviously that'd be the best case scenario. But I only have a legendary. This is going to be the build should be around 100 block and with this first hit i would just take the first hit off and i would say that's 30 damage reduction at highest health value so with this it would probably be around what is that 25 or 30 percent with the mythic bone that would be around 60 percent on your first hit which is phenomenally insane with the 100 percent block and the 10 percent max heal at the start of your turn this honestly is a very very good familiar let's go ahead and check out these skills for these skills, you'll see here that they have a deals earth damage to weakest enemy and root three times. Pretty good. You can also make this guy offensive, which is very weird. But yeah, they do root three times on the weakest enemy. They shield self, which is very, very nice. Unfortunately, it's a one SP, but that's fine. They have a decent amount of speed to get that up real fast. They have deals earth damage to the closest three enemies. Very nice, but it is a brain procker, so you got to be careful with that ability. Make sure you know what content you're pushing when you use this ability. Then they also have deals earth damage to target enemy and self. The self is pretty nice because it helps you proc your brain. So if you hit yourself, you have a chance to attack team with your brain, which is pretty, pretty nice. So this is really good if you want to try to, let's say, target out a DPS and you want to also try to proc your brain at the same time this is a very very strong ability so do not sleep on this ability and for the last attack we have deals earth damage 
to target enemy and drain life so this is another target ability if for some reason you just have a crazy amount of sp and you need some heals but you also want to deal some damage you have this attack you might be using this attack less than most of them i would say the least one you would use is probably moon rocks because you don't want to be proccing brains but other than moon rocks this is probably gonna be your second least used ability so it's not the greatest but it does have some sustain to it which is what i really like now let's go ahead and show you what it takes to make him very very simple you need one gobby of course each one with 175 floppy disks along with 200k gold each now the gold is kind of yikes but that's fine it is late game around this time you should have a lot of gold saved up if not it should be easy for you to get gold since you are going to be playing a lot more stuff in this area um but for the floppy disk let's go ahead and show you where you guys can get that you're going to go to the raid and you will go to the current tier which is tier 19 raid as of recording this video under the titan's eye raid go ahead and summon go to the loot drops and if you go all the way to the bottom you'll see on the top left a floppy disk right here so this is the only place you can get floppy disks at all unless it's a reward for pvp gvg trials etc stuff like that that's the only way you can get it um with a weekly reward if it's not in the raid so that is how you're going to be making astro gobby where do i recommend using astro gobby honestly anywhere you need a bait astro gobby is phenomenal they do a really good job are they a raw replacer or a glars replacer honestly in my opinion they can be they are very solid especially for the current tiers and i really really love them they have that air um the air resistance which is really good against witchum users because it helps them have that little bit of extra defense so honestly astro gobby is a plus for me all the way thank you so much for stopping by if you guys have any other familiars you guys want me to go over please leave them in the comments below i'm always excited to do these videos and i love experiencing new familiars now i know this <laughs> this familiar is a little expensive but trust me guys if you guys can get this familiar make him he will change your bait game for sure Thank you for stopping by. This is World Eater. Have a great one, guys. Peace.